Hello and welcome to my series called Pepped Up by Paintings, which is essentially what I want to do, pep you up, talking about something that I absolutely love. That said, today I'm not going to talk about a painting at all, well, I'll talk about several paintings. I'm going to talk about Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian is the patron saint of plagues, well, one of them. Um, so, sorry, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get him out of the way uh, and over and done with. However, it's not all doom and gloom, definitely not, because he is also very much a gay icon. And once you know what you're looking for with St. Sebastian, he is really, really easy to spot. And he's in a lot of paintings. I do a tour at the National Gallery called Divas. And when I introduce an altarpiece of St. Sebastian, I introduce it with the words, some people are born divas, some people achieve diva status, other people have diva status thrust upon them. There are a lot of divas in this tour, let me tell you. Um, St. Sebastian though is definitely in the latter category. Um, but that is not to say that he doesn't look very often really rather diva-esque. And in many paintings, he's depicted in almost exactly the same way. There's a very um, sort of continuous iconography about St. Sebastian. So the painting that I look at in the National Gallery is this one by the Poliawala brothers, dates to 1475. And it's for um, a chapel um, in, a, in a church in Florence, very big chapel. It's a very, very, very big painting. But look at St. Sebastian. He's there. He is almost naked, very youthful, um, pierced by arrows. But just notice the way that his eyes are gazing up to the heavens and he doesn't show any signs of pain at all. It's just as though he's saying, oh, really, again, I'm slightly, I'm slightly bored of this, to be honest. Look at this painting by Rubens, 1614, so it's later than the, the first one. St. Sebastian, once again, eyes up to the heavens. Look at this beautiful body though. I mean, look at the muscles, but the pose really quite sinuous. It is an erotic pose. Guido Reni, once again, Saint Sebastian, this time completely hairless and apparently completely bloodless as well. But very, very similar iconography in all three paintings. So if you're looking for Saint Sebastian in a painting, you need to be looking for somebody youthful, pierced with arrows, always pierced with arrows, nearly always pierced with arrows, and uh, looking up to the heavens. I will explain the nearly in a second. Um, Saint Sebastian, though, was in fact a burly, middle-aged Roman soldier. So nothing at all like the image that we see in all of these paintings. He was, it's true, um, pierced with arrows or shot with arrows. So he was a third century missionary who, in, in, in areas in which the word of God was not very welcome, to say the least. Um, and so he was captured and shot with arrows. That didn't kill him. He survived and he was nursed back to health by a very kindly nun. And then he, as soon as he was well, off he went again, wasn't perturbed at all, didn't stop him preaching the word of God right, left and centre until once again he was, you know, he just became too much and was captured or taken by the authorities and unfortunately bludgeoned to death and dumped in a Roman sewer. So not, not a very nice end. Um, None of them are, are they? Um, so it's kind of a miracle, really, that he, A, didn't become the patron saint of Pooh, um, but also that he is now depicted as he is. 
Um, there is, by the way, just one painting that I'm aware of that's in the Getty Center in Los Angeles in which he's being dumped in a sewer. Um, but again, he is very youthful and he um, he's, he's not showing any wounds. You know, there's no blood, there's no bruising. He's, you know, this perfect, perfect body just being tipped, tipped over. Um, so why? Why is he not like all other saints, you know, a middle-aged man with a beard? Well, that's probably to do with the plague that rampaged through Europe. Sadly familiar. Um, but this plague actually killed huge, huge swathes of the population. And so because St. Sebastian had survived being shot with arrows and because his arrow wounds were thought to be quite similar to plague sores in, in appearance, he was evoked as a, a, a saint that people would pray to. Um, because he survived, I guess that then artists started to depict him looking really quite chipper as a sort of bit of encouragement to people that might have the plague or have loved lo loved ones with the plague. So sort of an encouragement, definitely. The idea of St. Sebastian as a gay icon, though, I suppose was somewhat inevitable right from the start. Um, he is always going to be depicted with youth and vigour as a sucker, as I've said, to the plague victims initially, and then it was iconography that just continued. Because he is always depicted um, pierced, or mostly depicted pierced with arrows, he has to be semi-naked. And then you've got this idea of penetration, so that sort of all feeds into into this um, into him becoming a, a gay icon. Um, Susan Sontag, though, writes really thoughtfully about this and she suggests or she suggested that um, it's this divorce of the separation of the suffering that St. Sebastian must be going through. I mean, you know, he's stuck through with arrows. That has got to hurt. But the fact that he looks as though nothing is touching him. He's completely hiding what he must truly be, be feeling. Uh, she writes that that is very resonant with homosexual communities, maybe not so much now, but certainly in the past. Um, and so that has, that is once again fed into um, him being rather beloved of the LGBTQ communities. He is the only saint, I think, that has been depicted a couple of times on the front of Esquire magazine, um, the second time by Ricky Gervais, who was actually um, in, he was paying homage to a very, now a very famous photograph that was on the front of Esquire um, of Muhammad Ali, um, taken by Carl Fisher. Um, and then various other gorgeous male models depicted as Saint Sebastian. So uh, he, uh, he is definitely a saint that is very, very easy to recognise and he is everywhere. And now you know how to spot him. So that's it for today. I do hope that you'll join me very shortly again in another video for another pep up by paintings. Does that make sense? I don't know. Bye. <laughs>